This is David Lieber Hart. Hi, this is my dream. And broadcast my dream. I had a horrible dream. But before I tell my dream, I had another nightmare that for reality show that's reality, which is real, with my uh, um, uh, jolly old Australian and UK um, uh, tours. They really treated me badly. They didn't buy my portraits. They said, jolly old, no thank you. One guy pulled his pants down, said F you Americans," and he had a he had a, uh, a he had a tattoo on his ass of Donald Trump, and with a red circle on it and a line through it. And he says, "I have I, you and Donald Trump. I don't like." That's what this jolly old English guy told me. And he told me he didn't like uh, Americans. He gave me a dirty look and he gave me a middle finger when I asked him if he wanted to buy a portrait in front of me with his kids and he says i'm going to be the kid said to me i guess this is the way we should treat america maybe we should be white hitlers and 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 and, and, and treat uh, uh, americans like shit. and that's that as that, that, well the kid told me from england from the uk it's terrible and then i asked um um this woman that was from uh, the uk would you like to buy a portrait she says, well, you can, she says, yeah, you, you, you can draw my ass, not giving you any shillings. And I was in front of her kids. And then another English guy, he, he I, this is really weird. He said to me, he pulled down his pants and says, um, he, he, he says, I, I won't give you the pleasure to be with me because you're an, you're an ugly American that I hate. I mean, ah. and then one guy pulled up his shirt and he had an anti-American uh, um, thing on saying, fuck you, Americans. He says, I'm not going to buy shit from you. And, 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 and I'm teaching my kids to be the same way. So I, 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 everywhere I turned, I only made $12 yesterday, Sunday. All the British that were from the UK treated me like I was a piece of shit. They were disrespectful to me. Even the UK dog, he had a dog, and it's pushed up its legs and peed on me. He says that's what he taught his dog to do to, to Americans. I tell you, um, it was... Then I had a nightmare to make it all, not making any money for the whole day Sunday. Then I had a nightmare that Jonah Motion drove me first to chase to put money in and the lady says i'm not going to wait on you i just don't like you and she took my credit card and threw it on the floor and and i she says you you can kiss my ass i'm not going to wait on you i said what did i do to you she said i just don't like you and i picked and so jonah said i guess the world is against you so i asked could i speak to the manager he said this lady is the manager so I wasn't going to get anywhere. So then Jonah drove me to Bank of America. And then I had a, I had a British guy wait on me. And he says, he says uh, let me have my English tea at four before I wait on you. So I waited for him to have his tea. He says, you won't get a bloody thing from me to help you. He says, you won't get a bloody thing from me to help me. He said, I'm not going to help you. I'll close the door on the other side. He says, I don't care about no sh yeah, helping an American put shillings in his bank. You can, yeah, I, I, you can fart on that. He needed I helping me. And then Jonah says, well, I guess the world is against you. So then Jonah drove me to uh, another bank. And the other bank I banked with was, um, was uh, Citibank. And this fat white lady says, I'm British too. I'm the one who didn't buy portraits from you at the Santa Monica Pier. He says, uh, he says I'm not also going to give you a tip of not waiting on you. So I went and I says, could I speak to the manager? He says, well, this British English woman is the manager. And if she doesn't want to wait on you, you just might as well leave. And so the last bank Jonah drove me to, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm with Wells Fargo. I'm with Citibank. I'm with Chase. I have very little in the bank because the, the British have been stingy from me not buying my artwork from me or contributing to me as a musician. Uh, and I, I, um, 
I went to the last bank, which was Wells Fargo, and this uh, was a, a British woman that said, she says, I'm going to be like, a, she says, we British are going to treat you like you were black slaves. We're not going to let you put any, going to even let you have a bank account. We're going to close your bank account and tell you to leave the bank. We don't want to serve you. We're British. And we, you, want, uh, you can take all your shillings and, sh and just shove them up your ass and leave the bank. And then Jonah said again, I guess the world is against you. And then I woke up. It's been a really bad, I mean, I, the, the English are so shitty toward me until I'm dreaming about them treating me like shit. I also was denied, um, I was denied service at a Starbucks by two English men in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, they told me to go to the black area to buy my drink. They said, you look like a homeless black uh, bum. We're not going to wait on you. And they threw my card on the face. Leslie, a, a, an Asian woman, uh, took me to Tea Leaf to get a cup of tea. Uh, it was it was pretty pretty bad. I don't know why the English don't like me. I never did anything against them. When I was in in Europe in the UK, I always bought their their souvenirs and was and and went to their nightclubs and supported their businesses. I don't know why they're treating me like uh, whites treated blacks in the fifties and the sixties and the seventies. You know, I never did anything to British people. I don't understand why they're so 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 bloody mean okay i guess that's all what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you david the worst thing i had is a uh, a british man pulled his pants down he had a tattoo i already told this story okay the other thing is a guy uh uh, uh pulled his pants down and, and and he says you you remind me of 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 of, of, of the doodle that comes out of my ass. That's what I think of black people. That was pretty mean. He says, you're, you're the same color as doo-doo, and that's what I think about you. I'm not going to buy any artwork from you. So fuck off, you black nigger. That's what, a, that's what a, a, a bloody English guy told me. I don't know why the English are so bloody mean. I never did anything to them, you know. So I have to forgive them. I didn't react to any of the bloody mean English people. And then when I was selling my artwork, they st all stood in front of me taking pictures. And, and then I told them, you know, I'm so, I, I had to pay a lot of money for a business permit for the city of Santa Monica. He said, I don't give a shit what you paid. I have no respect for colored people. And, and, and you won't get a shilling uh, penny off of me. And then two black women came up of my own black race. Yeah, that's right. I don't like no black motherfuckers either. I don't like my dad that's black. I don't like my brothers that black. Let me take your fucking picture in front of that black motherfucker. And then they, after they took the pictures in front of me selling my artwork, then they said, motherfucker, you need to learn to be nice. I said, I said no, you all need to be learned to be nice. The two black women of my own race treated me like that. And the black lady said, we used to have more respect for 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 white folks, just like the uh, the w w white people that that, that didn't like uh, that got the blacks to kill Malcolm X. We have more respect for white people than black people. We's Uncle Tom's. What you gonna do about that, motherfucker? That's what the two black women told me that were that were African American like me. So it, it, it it's just been bad. Ah. Uh, and it was Mother's Day, and I was treated like a piece of shit. If my mother would look down in heaven, she would be ashamed of how mean the British people treated me. It's a shame. How about, can you make up a joke for the podcast? Okay. Whoa, whites are so prejudiced like those clouds in the sky. They remind me of the tornadoes that kicks people's asses in cities by and by. It treats you like shit, the weather, and so do the people. How about a joke about fish? You know, fish are so slippery. They're like the girls that, that just don't want to slide that love to you. How about a joke about roses? Roses, they're always smiling. They never cry until they wheel away. How about a joke about firemen? Firemen. They always stay hot and, and, and angry. They must be part Irish like me. Okay, one. Hilarious. 
How about a joke about cockroaches? Cockroaches. They have some. They, they. They. We have something in common. They're both black like me. I wonder if we're related. Okay, that's it. I, you're supposed to fix my my thing. Yeah, it says it needs 45 more minutes before this will be finished installing. Oh no! What? So, a, what about the, the? And this thing doesn't seem to work at all. Sorry. Huh? Doesn't seem to work. It won't turn on. Why? Do I need to call them and find out what happened? Well, anyway, yeah. once this is finished installing, you can go to Bandcamp, and you should already be logged in so that you can download all of the music there for free. Now what about this? Can and you then you can get it onto your phone. Can you see if this will, the, the music will come on here? No. You, again, you have to plug it into this. You first have to get it onto this computer and plug your phone into it. Plug that into it. Can you see if you can transfer any, get, get, get my I email? I can't do it. anything with that. The email is already connected to all your devices. I have one other thing that needs an email to it. Get stuff. No, so you don't. Point. You only need it on one thing. I you don't need it on all the things. I got one. There's I, no point. The, the, well, the, uh, the, so it's uh, wasting my the, time. The Obama and Del a, a free phone. Another free phone would replace the old one. Why? No, you don't need a third cell phone. That they mailed it to me free. So what? Let's see if we can get throw it, it away. No, no, give I it can't. to a home. Give it to someone that needs I'll, it. I'll give the older one to a homeless person. Can you try? No, you this I'm one? not Come imposing on, you see, your weird no, no, habit. I, I'm, I'm not going to be able. To, that phone is what they they, gave, they they told me that that uh, they replace it with this one. No. Yeah. Well, you don't need it. That phone is a piece of garbage, and so is that one. Shouldn't use either of them. You have a good phone. Uh, I, I, uh, it's not turning. By on. the way, that phone won't even let me call it anymore. It says this this customer has request requested that this phone doesn't receive incoming calls. That's not, that something's wrong with that phone. No. What should you try? I, I got a new replacement phone. I have to save my bills, got my money because I don't have a lot of. Money. I need uh, to go on tour. You want to try to call me at my little bowling phone? No. I have to because I'm not using on tour when I tour with you. Why well, can't you use the other one that you the paid eight hundred dollars for? No, I need this to save cost on phone calls. You let me. That phone is going, is going to be going out pretty soon. Well, you need to write down my new phone number for my new Obama phone. <laughs>